Okay, so now I'm going to try and make a fish out of the Blingit Champagne Pearl Moon Rock. Well, that's this. I hope you can see it. These are all very big mica flakes. And every flake you see is actually are four or five flakes, but they are a little bit stuck together. So it's very much. And I'm going to try and see if I can glue it like it would be the scales of a fish. So uh, I'm doing that with uh, a craft flu uh, cloth craft glue. I'm sorry. And I will just with a brush uh, put some glue on the back and glue it down to the paper or to the MDF board. Um, from now on I will fast forward because of course this will take a lot of time. Especially because the glue sticks to your fingers and everything. <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. good with painting so I'm going to draw the head in with uh, a Posca marker and then I will paint over it later with the primary elements and the tails and the I don't know how you call this uh, I will try to do them with resin uh, in the next layer so first I will draw the head.
Yeah, well, and the fins, I think you call it fins. I will try to do that with resin later. And if that doesn't work, then I will also uh, do that with Uh, painting the primary elements over it. Uh, yeah, I'm just not that good with uh, with painting and. The scales I just glued. I'm going over them with uh, resin art pigments in alcohol, like I did in the beginning on the background, to give the scales a little bit of uh, depth. And I will use blue and green for that. This is a metallic green, by the way, the Poshka marker. Very pretty. And it's making my life easier. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to need to let this dry. And then I will go over it uh, with the uh, alcohol, homemade alcohol inks. So, I'll be back. Good morning. Uh, last night I embellished. Uh, my painting a little bit with the Posca markers. You can see that there. But I forgot to uh, videotape it. So the paint is dry now and I'm going to proceed with uh, more and then I need to let it dry again. And then I will put another layer of resin on it and try to create some fins uh, for the fish. I thought I'd show you a little bit from up close what I did. So I will put my video in the tripod and I'll be back. So the primary elements that I mixed yesterday have gotten a little bit thick, so I tint them down with the Vivid Art Fluid. Just a couple of drops and mixed it in and now they are just fine. I'm going to do some lighter green on these plants here because I think it's a little bit dark. I'm getting a scoop for that. These are the little scoops that come with uh, the primary elements. And I think they make it easier to lay down some paint for this. Yeah, I like it, that it's a little bit uh, brighter. It's creating some depth.
you know me, I like bright colors. Let me see, for the fish heads I'm going to mix uh, another primary element, a little bit darker blue, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I mixed some Mediterranean blue in one cup and blue bayou in one cup and I mixed in a little bit of bling it pearl blue. Give it that extra shine. And I also realized that I told you that I wanted to do the fins with resin. And I still want that. But I realized that the resin will probably be see-through. So I am going to paint in a little bit with the primary elements. Because... Uh, yeah, I need it to look that it belongs to the fish. And if I would swipe resin here and the red would come through, you would see it. Yeah, it would look like it's not attached to the fish. So I think I need to paint that a little bit as well.
Yeah. Okay. Um, now I'm going to mix up some resin art to give that scales a very light color. So I'll be back. Okay, so I mixed in uh, from resin art in alcohol, and that's the blue moon. That's this color. I used sea foam. That's this color. I used aquamarine. That's this color. I'm sorry. And I used stardust, and that's this color. They're so pretty. So I just mix that in alcohol. Here they are. And I am just going to apply that. I will put it here on the scales of the fish. And I think I'm going to start on the edges of the scales to give it a little bit of put down a little bit of the alcohol ink with resin art in the wet primary elements. No idea if that will hold up, but we'll see. It looks nice. Okay, now I will just make a couple of more small fish and dot that sort of thing. And then we are going to let it dry.
just going to show you all the little details. And those are those that little fish that I draw. You see from up close, they're just some kind of drops, but if you look at it from the distance, it looks like a school of little fish. The plants from up close. plants that I swiped, they look nice, don't you think? And well, that little sea things, no idea what it is, but it looks nice. <laughs> Go. And I'm just leaving a little bit of space here because of the fins I still need to do. And I will give you a close-up from the uh, Champagne Mica Flakes that I put on some alcohol ink with resin art. So as you can see, it's giving it a really nice shine and it gives the illusion that it's a very colorful fish. Mm -hmm. Now this is how the head looks now, but that will change. I think I will do that with Posca markers also, just to do the little details, it's just a lot easier. And that will be, I guess, I don't know, a little flower or something, the stem will come later, when it's dry. And here are some more plants, I will give you an overview. Okay guys, I will be back for the resin layer.